Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Professor, what are you up to? I think the furniture is out to get me. It keeps jumping in my way. Ouch! Oh, I say, Nurse Nanobot, I don't think much of your new dress. A bit flowery. That's the curtains, Professor. Honestly, your eyesight is terrible. I think we need to pay another visit to Sally Specks. She's a dynamic dispensing optician. What a great idea. We can get some more eye-opening facts for my eye guide too. I want to find out how the eye sees. Oh, I see. Yes, but how, Nanobot? How? So, what do you think is the most important thing that enables us to see? Um, I'm going to take a chance and say eyeballs. Well, yes, but what do you need all around you? Let's try an experiment. If you close your eyes, you can't see anything. Everything is dark, just like at night. You might know that there are tables and chairs and walls in the room. Ouch! But you can't see them. And as your nice new bruise can tell, those objects haven't disappeared. You just need a magic ingredient to see them. And that ingredient is... Aha! Light! When you switch on a light or open your eyes, it's a lot easier to see what's around you. So how does light work with your eyes, Sally? Light, whether it is from the sun or a light bulb, bounces off every object. <laughs> The shape, size, movement, position and even colour of the object will affect how and where the light travels. When your eyes are open, all these moving paths of light from every object around travel into your eye. And your eye is brilliant at making sense of all these light waves. Come on, I'll show you. Let's take a closer look. The iris, that's the coloured part of your eye, closes or opens to ensure the eye has enough light to see, but not so much that the eye is damaged. This is why your pupils are small in bright lights. The pupil is the hole in the centre of the iris. Just the right amount of light is let in to hit the lens. You know about lenses, don't you, Professor? Like on your microscopes. You have to move lenses to make things look sharp and clear. That's right. Sometimes this is called bringing things into focus. The cornea, and then the lens in your eye, with all its muscles, do the same job as your microscopes. They help the light to focus on the back of the eyeball on a special area called the retina. Yes, and when things aren't in focus, they can look very fuzzy indeed. That's what it can be like for people whose lenses don't work quite as well as they should. Glasses or contact lenses help because they can correct refractive problems. In other words, they bend the light rays in a way that lets you see more clearly. So, this perfectly focused light has hit the retina. But how does your brain make sense of it all? This is where your eye gets seriously clever. The retina uses special cells called rods and cones to process light. They're tiny and they're about 120 million rods and 7 million cones in each eye. Check them out. That's amazing. How do they all fit in? And how come my eye isn't the size of a beach ball? The rods and cones are very, very tiny, Professor. Rods can detect the light waves of black, white and shades of grey and tell us the form or shape that something has. Rods can't tell the difference between colours, but they are super sensitive, allowing us to see when it's very dark. What about the cones? Do they help us see ice cream vans? Don't be ridiculous. They're not ice cream cone cells. Cones sense colour and they need more light than rods to work well. Cones are most helpful in normal or bright light. The retina has three types of cones. Each cone type is sensitive to one of three different colours. Red, green or blue to help you see different ranges of colour. Together these cones can sense combinations of light waves that enable our eyes to see millions of colours. So those cells have detected all the shapes and colours around you, but how do they get into your brain? Through the optic nerve. This is a connector between your eyeballs and your brain. It sends nerve messages over a super fast connection, faster than the fastest broadband ever. Your brain takes the nerve messages and creates pictures of the objects in a way that makes sense to us. The group of nerve messages for a cat will look different to the nerve messages for a dog. Thanks, Sally. All that information about how we see can go into the eye guide. Let's get it uploaded. Upload complete. Oh, before you go, Professor, 
Have you got time for a further quick fact for the eye guide? I don't see why not. Well, whilst your eye might not be as big as a beach ball, there is a creature on Earth whose eyes are that big. The giant squid has eyes which are 18 inches across. That's incredible. Both eye-watering and inspiring. Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Find out more and get hands-on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.